Hi, welcome back. Tangent Shop Joe. Uh, a couple weeks ago, the fellow that I that I help out every now and then called me up and asked me if I could come down and take a look at a fault code that he could not uh, get to go away. So uh, when I was down there for a few hours, and I'll be doing a few videos on different things I saw, but I wanted to start uh, with this. And it's basic, and it's about wiring. So uh, we're going to take a look today at uh, working with wire repair by the after treatment system. Because it, uh, you'll see in a little bit some, some uh, maybe obvious things to, to older techs or techs in the field longer are not so obvious to younger guys. So let's take a look. Nice. Look at this one back here. I'm not sure what this wire fed, but it only works when the backup lights are on. Melted. It melted? Well, the loom I put on there is... Mm. So while he's cutting that off of there, I'm looking around at other things under here, potential problems. And there's some plastic loom on high temperature loom. That's not going to work. You can see the, the black nylon ties on high temperature loom. That's not going to work. And this just happened because the people working on it didn't understand a few principles about the environment the wiring was in. So was that like that the other day? No, this is my repair right here. One of the reasons I love working with this guy, this is Jake, is he tells me like it is. He doesn't sugarcoat anything. And if he makes a mistake, he'll ask me what he did wrong. So he's worth investing time in. So uh, that's one of the reasons I help him. You're looking there at the high temperature loom, that silver stuff that uh, they put on the wiring from the factory to protect all those wires. And you can see it's all been cut back by mechanics who repaired this wiring, not understanding the environment it's in. So I had gone down there to take a look at uh, SCR faults that he couldn't get rid of. And we got up under into the wiring and you saw some of the other wiring. We opened the hood and you saw the, the that wiring by the spring was the headlight, turn signals and markers for the, for the hood. And you saw how that was. So um, I think my favorite on the truck was the, the wire coming out from behind the light on the back of the cab. I'm pretty sure that went to the, uh, the um, backup alarm. So when they, when they put it in reverse and those lights came on in the cab, the beeper would run. And this is a lot of what this guy runs into with these units. But you know what? He takes care of it and the customer loves him. So uh, the last thing I wanted to talk about is the loom. You saw a lot of that high temperature loom was cut away and people cut it away, cut it off and throw it on the floor. Uh, and sometimes, hopefully not, they put that plastic loom on and you can see what happened to Jake after he put that plastic loom on. Can you imagine if he had loomed that big, the big chunk of wires there with that? Now that didn't happen, that didn't burn going down the road. He thought he fixed the problem that he called me down to look at. And I said, well, do a stationary regen so the system knows that everything's working correctly. And after the regen, he still had the fault. So he pulled it in, let it sit. I went down there. We lifted it up in the air. And there you go, right? He saw, he saw his uh, mistake. So rarely do I do this, but I'm going to put in the comments below some links to uh, what I, I actually sent these links to Jake so that he could get this stuff to do repair when he's working by the after treatment. And uh, they're just Amazon links. And you don't, this is not special stuff. It's just stuff that, that uh, he uses to fix his stuff. And it is links to high temperature loom and some high temperature tape and then stainless steel ties to tie things up when you're close to those hot spots, okay? 
And you'll see some of this video in, in another video that I do because we're looking at other things besides the wiring. So thanks for joining me, and we'll see you next time on Edge of Shop Joe.